Okay. Uh, let me show you here. Now you're going to need uh, you're going to need two things for this project. You're going to need a little knife to carve, and you're going to need a little stump like this. <coughs> Excuse me. All this is is a, is a limb cut off, and um, we're going to make a little knife like this that's going to stick in that stump. Okay? Now, I cut the knife. Here's the little pattern. All I did was get a picture of a knife off of the internet, and I just reduced it in size the way I wanted it. This knife is, uh, let me see if I have my, yes, I do. This little knife is only, it's about two and a, oh, it's about three inches long. Made out of a half inch uh, basswood. And this is going to be a simple little beginner project that we're going to do. Let me look look at it again here. Okay. And when we're through with it, we're going. It's going to just basically be a setup where it sticks to, out of the stump. Okay. Now what we want to do, and we should be able to do this in one, in one uh, tape. Uh, first thing we want to do. So we want to make a little, we want to kind of press our knife in here and we want to work on just by taking down the handle. Now we do it from side to side, okay? Do it from side to side. We take down the handle of the knife, okay? Now, one of the ways that you can kind of get a general idea of uh, this is get my pencil here. Drop my pencil. So, is as a beginner, you can take and draw a center line down there, and you can also do it with the blade. Draw a center line, and that way it kind of helps you as you look how much to take off from each side. In other words. When you look, uh, I took off this much, and then you look at it, and you see how, and then you take off this much. In other words, you take off. And you take off. But you see, when you look at it, see that you've taken off more here than here. So you come over here, and you take off. Okay? Now you use the push cut to take off the rest. Now if you look at it, you can see that now that's straightened up, but there needs to be some taken off here. I'm using the push cut. See? Now if we look at it, we've taken off, we need to take off some over here. And some here. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to cut a little notch. Before we get too thin, we want to cut a little notch down here for our handle. Like this. See the little notch we cut? And then we want to take the this area and we want to bring this just sort of at an angle. Like that. See that? Then we want to come up underneath here and we want to bring that down. See what I'm getting at? We just move the knife and cut it off here.
we make that handle a little bit where it it, uh, it it dips down. It's got kind of a hand grip on it, in other words. And then we just sort of bring both sides down. We sort of round off that handle like this. Using the push cut very lightly in here. And we just sort of, see it? See how we brought that handle down? Okay. Now we want to take the blade now and do the same thing. Make a little cut. Take that down. Cut a little on this side. Cut into that. But the difference is on this blade, we're going to go ahead and just take that area down because it's pretty straight. But remember, your blade is going to come down, and I'm going to use the push cut here. But as we get the blade further down, okay, just taking that. Now, as we, we look, we, we see that we need some more off on this end. Now, this is where we have to take the blade down at an angle. We're going to take our knife and we're just going to kind of do this. We're going to bring it down like that. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to bring the blade down. We get to a certain point where we want to ang start angling that blade like this. Coming from both sides and angling that blade so that we can get see that and we take our knife and we come to the edge like that we start working angling that blade down because that's what it does it comes down to a just like a knife does now we're going to thin this up a little in here. We're going to thin this up in here. This top of the blade is way too big. See that? It, it's a blade doesn't doesn't go out like that. It's pretty pretty straight at the top. Pretty evenly straight at the top. getting there There we go. See that? See that blade? And I'm going to even take and just lightly come a little bit more. I'm going to make that blade a little bit. There we go. Do the same over here. Take it a little bit. So you have good little blade like that. Now, we have our handle that's coming. Uh oh. I'm sorry. Just got it away from my hand. This glove, I, it's hard. It's kind of a little hard with using a carving glove with a small project. But it's... See how I just barely take a little bit off? Okay. So now our purpose is to take down the guard. This is, I believe it's called the knife guard right here. So we want to just on both sides come down on both sides with the knife guard
Okay, now we want to be sure and kind of straighten this knife guard up a little bit. And straighten this up. Make a little cut in there. Okay. Now, what we want to do is as we begin to bring this knife guard down, we want to sort of angle these ends off like this. Okay. Angle this end off. angle this end off like that now we want to do it even more we want to bring this down because it's just the knife guard now we want to straighten this up in here a little bit And we want to bring this one down too. Not exactly to a point, but very, very close to a point. Just kind of like that. See that? And this one has to be the same way. You have to go from kind of side to side a little bit. There's still a discrepancy here as far as the straightness of this guard. And I'm going to cut that straight. Okay. Look at that. See? Now we just want to clean it up a little bit. And then we'll take a little sandpaper. And we'll go after it. down with that handle a little bit more see All right, and we're just gonna kind of chip that off right there. Okay, we, we're in good shape here. Now, let me take a little sandpaper. Just kind of, a little hard to hold. We just want to sand it a little bit. You want to put your finger over this and kind of hold it when you sand it. You don't want to, it's a little thin, so you don't want to break it. <sighs> you want to do the same thing with your handle. You just want to use a little sandpaper. Now, you don't do these in flat plane, folks. This is <laughs> this is just normal. This is not. You do fig. I do figures in flat plane, but but these are totally different. There. All right, we have our little knife here. We can use a little sandpaper and on it just to kind of give it. Anyway, there is our little knife right there. Now. What we do is we take our little stump and we're just gonna kinda take our knife and cut into it just a little bit on both sides, just like that.
which case your knife will fit, uh, it's going to have to go a little bit deeper. In which case your knife will fit in there. Very similar to that, in other words. I'm going to have to go a little bit deeper into it, in other words. Let me get to... Um, Let's see. Yeah. Well, we're going to glue it in there anyway, in other words. But your knife will fit into your stump just like that. I'll work on that, in other words. Anyway, that's our little project. The little knife in the stump. And uh, I uh, been enjoyed uh, doing this. I'm trying desperately to find beginner's projects that can be easy and convenient for you in other words we did a little bird um, on an apple now we do the little and I also have the little axe that you can do I already have a video it's called, called carving the axe and uh, it's gonna fit in like that and I'll show you the end results okay I'm gonna uh, paint it a little bit show you the end results and uh, we have it done. All right. Well, God bless you now, and thank you for looking.